In this section, we emphasized the importance of getting to know your team. In a crisis where some team members are not familiar with one another, having a way to do this quickly can be the key to later success as a team. Strategies include introducing yourself or asking others to do so, paying attention to nonverbal cues, and directly asking each other about skill and comfort levels needed based on roles. David, in the crisis scenario, the team has the luxury of time because they're waiting for the patient to come in in the emergency. But sometimes the crisis unfolds right in front of you. And so how do you make those introductions? That's a great point, but I guess I would argue I think that immediacy is kind of a distraction and you it only takes a couple seconds to say, I'm Dave, I'm the leader, or let's slow down and just figure out who's doing what. Um, I don't think it takes too much time to get that, that basic introduction in and even experience level, you know, oh, actually, I'm not comfortable doing the airway. Can we switch places? So the importance is just having those statements be said. Yeah, I think it really um, sets you up to have success later on. For the following activities, we'd like you to pick one trait that characterizes the perfect team member, someone that you would want on your team in a crisis, and what would that characteristic be? Your answer is going to be added to a word cloud so that you can see what other learners in the course are looking for in their team. Then, you'll take an emotional intelligence quiz that will prompt you to reflect on your own ability to read people's emotions, as it's very important to be able to pick up on these nonverbal cues in your team. Yes, knowing your team is vital when you're handling a crisis.